And during all this, there was a, a local businessman, Bob Hammond, Bob Hammond, who who challenged Elias. We call him Bear. He, that's his nickname. He, he challenged Bear to a race, a 5K, uh, to help with raising money last year. And you know they, they would call in and people would would donate. You know if you thought Bear was going to win, you you could you could a vote for him was one dollar, a vote for Bob was a dollar, and, and uh, Bear was so excited to run this 5K and challenge Bob. And they ended up raising over two thousand dollars just uh, just because a seven year old is willing to do something, and his heart was so in it. You, when you watch him run, and it's, it, he finished in under twenty eight minutes, twenty seven minutes, twenty six minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get that right. <laughs> yeah. And at seven years old, and you could see his face and how hard he was trying, and it was just because he wanted to do something to help these children in Africa. You know, we, we see children at church who work all summer long, all winter long, and all their chores and every dollar quarter that they get, they, they can't wait to bring it in in bags full and give it to Amy to give to the, the children in Africa. I and mean, you can see the community, it, the, you know, the churches, the people who want to get involved, it, it's definitely affecting everyone who has come in contact with it. You can see it working in their lives pretty awesome. I think though what's more awesome to me um, besides my family I, I don't know you kind of take it for granted that they should be involved <laughs> but but you know and they don't have to and they're a blessing for doing that but I have seen people who are not interested in the Lord not interested in Jesus at all but they see something different and they see a light and they see a change in, in myself and, and and just in this mission you know they can't deny what's going on they can't deny how god has provided abundantly whether they believe it's god or not but i've seen people who don't even believe wanting to be involved and um it, it's been truly amazing like <laughs> a guy who um professes to be a buddhist was um he's like uh i want to run for you i want to run for you i want to i want to help uh, raise money for these kids he's like I, I don't know about the rest but but to me that's God planting seeds. That is God planting seeds in people's hearts, whether they know it or realize it or not. And I've had multiple people, unbelievers, you know, people who are proclaimed unbelievers of Jesus Christ, want to get involved because they see something. They see people doing something and it's sparking their interest. But, but that's them seeing Jesus in us. And it's been amazing.